Hi everybody, for this month's Craft World exclusive video I thought I would show you some fun ways to use your embossing folders. It's something certainly for myself that I have a lot of that kind of get forgotten so I'm hoping that this tutorial will inspire you to pull yours out and to create some nice backgrounds. So here I have what I've created through the video and it's free to watch. The link, direct link is in the description box below and that will take you to Craft World where you can see exactly how I've made these. But this one here, so I've embossed it using my zigzag embossing folder but then I've also added embossing powder and heat set it and you get such gorgeous effects so you could you know you you get the texture that tactile feel of the embossed image but also that lovely shine then I also emboss tissue paper so this is just some kitchen towel and you create really fun effects this one here I've just added some yellow sprit well spritzed it with a yellow spray and then used some gold wax gilding wax over the the bows there so this has got more of a grungy mixed media kind of feel you can tear the edges add it to your scrapbook layouts but also it looks lovely on cards and then this one here again it's got a lovely shine to it but it got I don't know it kind of looks a bit like material you know, like leather or something really really fun very interesting then I show you how you can ink onto your embossing folders and create these kind of backgrounds so this is using I've inked onto the debossed side and I explain all that in the video and it gives you this blue sky with the clouds. Some of you might recognise this one because I've actually done this technique when I launched my first collection. And then this is using my balloon embossing folder, but I've actually inked the embossed part of it. So it gives you this effect here. So they may look the same on the monitor, but on this one here, it's all raised on the top and then debossed underneath. And on this one, it's debossed on the front and raised on the back. Then I also show you the effect you get when you emboss vellum. And then this is another fun one. This is actually using kitchen foil. So it's just a couple of sheets and I've embossed it with the dragonfly embossing folder there as well. But I show you it all in the video. So click on the links below and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.